Hi, I'm Tegane. Um, you've been coming to the practice for a number of years now, and I understand that you attended for a routine assessment in August, yes. um, where you didn't have any specific problems in the mouth, but um, as part of your assessment, it was detected that you had a possible issue with your tongue. Um, what then happened after that? Um, the dentist, one of your dentists, was nice enough to uh, refer me to a specialist at Chase Farm Hospital. Um, I went along quite quickly following that initial referral. I think it took a matter of about three weeks before I was seen, maybe four weeks. Um, I did have to chase it though to make sure I wasn't overlooked and when I went into clinic they performed um, biopsies. In total I had three biopsies because each biopsy proved to be inconclusive but um, they persisted because they wanted to be sure um, and um, ultimately they decided that the lesion that was beneath my tongue was um, severe enough to be is it exercise? Is that what they say? Exercise. Yeah. Exercise, thank you, yes. So, um, yes, I, I was uh, admitted on the 4th of December uh, 2014 for the lesion to be removed and they had to go quite deeply. The MRI showed that it was quite, quite a deep um, lesion. It wasn't just a superficial growth. There was something quite deep in the tongue. Um, and the final biopsy or the final I say the final biopsy, but in the when they biopsied the, the legion and the deep tissue that they removed from my tongue, they would then it, it confirmed what they'd suspected all along that the, the legion was cancerous, although the cancer hadn't been spotted in the first three biopsies that had been taken. So, but they were they were confident that they'd done the right thing, obviously, because ultimately they did discover the cancer. Um, and they're now, it's healed really well. Um, I'm now speaking to you in January, which is a very short time since the initial surgery. And it's healed well, thankfully. Um, and I will be going to see um, them at the hospital once a month for the next year and subsequently for the next two years, but at uh, reducing intervals. So uh, twice a month, sorry, I beg your pardon, once bi monthly. And then in the third year, I'll be going once every quarter to see them. Um, or once every third month, I beg your pardon. So they're keeping a very close eye on me because although the cancer has been removed, um, there is some question that it could, if there is any remaining um, elements in my system, that they could travel to other parts of the body, particularly the lymph nodes in the neck. I've been told they'll be keeping a close eye on. And um, yes, and I've also been told, unfortunately, that having been susceptible to cancer once, I have a 10 to 20 percent um, greater chance of developing cancer elsewhere in the body. So I think that's another reason why they want to keep a close eye on me. So I'm very grateful um, to your dentist for having spotted the legion in the first place because um, the sooner these things are detected and treated, the better your chances of um, surviving and preventing problems elsewhere in the body.